seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hello, my beautiful ninjas, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be a very chill and chatty type of video. I wanted to compare two of um, two drugstore foundations. They're both from Maybelline, and these are the two that I wanted to go ahead and compare. This one is one of my favorite drugstore foundations. So, I mean, I think I've talked about this before on my channel, and I absolutely love this foundation. And this is the newer one that they just came out with. This is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. Um, they're both very inexpensive. They both have a decent color range in the drugstore, so you should definitely be able to find your shade. And they're both matte foundations as well. This one claims to be like a 24-hour or last up to 24 hours. I don't wear my makeup that long anyways if I do decide to wear makeup so I don't know how um, you know real that claim is but they're both matte foundations I think this one also helps with pores I believe this one also helps with pores they're both oil free because obviously I have oily skin so that's definitely why I wanted to try both of them and the obvious difference between the two is obviously the packaging this one has a black top this one has a white top Although the top for this new foundation is bigger, it looks like the actual amount of products you get is bigger, but it's really not. It's just the top. They're both one fluid ounce of product. And what I really like about the new one is the fact that it has a pump. So obviously a pump makes it a lot easier, um, you know, for you to do your application. It makes it less messy. And it obviously helps you to control how much foundation you're actually using and applying to your face. So that's the only, you know, that's one of the pros that I can definitely say about this foundation. I like the packaging a lot better. But this is one of my favorite drugstore foundations. So let's go ahead and just kind of put them to the test, see if there's really a major difference between the two as far as the formula. So I'm going to do this side of my face with this one and then this side with uh, the new foundation. So actually before I do that obviously I've done like my eye makeup already uh, but I haven't like primed my face or anything like that like an eyelash um, but I haven't primed my safe my face yet so the primers that I am going to be using are these two this is the Smashbox photo finish and I'm gonna apply this all over my face and then this one is the makeup forever step one skin equalizer and this is basically just a mattifying primer so I'm just gonna put this pretty much around my nose and around my mouth because that's typically where I get oily so let's go ahead and jump right into it Alrighty, so now that we've done primed our face, I'm just going to put this back in my drawer. Now that we've primed our face, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the foundation. So I'm just going to start off with this one simply because it has a pump, so it's a lot um, you know, more convenient for me to use. And like I said, it makes it easier for you to kind of control the amount of products that you're actually putting on your face. So I'm just going to go ahead and just do one pump on my hand. Um, as far as the formula, this one is, is thicker actually let me yeah this one I can tell is a very thick consistency as you guys can tell it's not like running down my hand or anything like that and that's actually a generous pump so we're gonna go ahead and do this side where's my brush okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and take my flat kabuki brush and actually just um hmm I'm just gonna actually do this And that's a lot of foundation actually and I still have a little bit left on my hand so that that little um, that pump definitely applied a lot I used this foundation one time before and for whatever reason I just I don't know I'm just not really sure of how I feel about it yet so that's why I also wanted to do this video just to kind of compare it to the original foundation but as you guys can tell this is definitely full coverage I'm gonna zoom in 
a little bit more. So this is full coverage. It is a little bit on the orangey side, but it does oxidize a lot better. So I'm just try not to mess up my brow. It's definitely matte. That's one thing that I can tell you is that it's already basically mattified on my skin. So it's a matte foundation, but it doesn't feel heavy at all. So I really, really like that. And it's covered my dark spots and my blemishes. And this is basically what it looks like on this side. So definitely full coverage. Like I said, it's definitely a matte foundation. Um, if you have dry skin, I'm not sure if you would like this foundation. It definitely dries down matte very quickly. But it does give really nice, flawless coverage. So I really do like that. And it feels comfortable on the skin, so it doesn't feel heavy at all. So I'm going to go ahead and just move on to the other side. I didn't tell you guys the shades that I'm using. So for this foundation that I just applied on this side of my face, it's the number 334 in Warm Sun. And then this one that I'm about to apply is number 335 in Classic Tan. And this is basically the closest ones that I found to each other. So I'm hoping that the color, you know, matches really well so I don't look crazy. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and just try to use this one. I want to use a different brush. I don't want to use the same brush for the foundation itself, but this is the brush that I like to use when it comes to my foundation. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the same brush. I just wiped it off a little bit just to try to take off some of the products, but we're just going to roll with it. So with this one, I'm going to just pour a little bit on my hand. And this one is a little bit more runny, so it's a little bit more watery. So that's one thing that I can definitely say as far as like the difference between the two. But I absolutely love this foundation nonetheless. The color I think is a little bit darker than the first one that I applied. But we'll see how it blends out. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and start patting this one into my skin. They're both very orange finished. Like they both have an orange undertone. But they both really do give amazing coverage. For whatever reason, I feel like this one kind of dries down even quicker. I don't know if I'm just moving a little bit slower, but I don't know if you guys can tell that. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but I do feel like I need to do a little bit more on this side. So it's not as full coverage as the other one, but it's still doing a really good job at covering up my dark spots and my dark circles. And it's blending out really well as well. So I mean now that I have both of them on and I'm looking at the camera. It looks like they are pretty much the same color. <laughs> um, I don't really see the biggest. I don't see any uh, big differences between the two. They apply pretty much uh, the same. The second one, which is the Matte and Poreless Foundation, is a little bit more runny, so it's thinner coverage, so it's more buildable. But this one, which is the Super Stay, is basically full coverage as soon as you apply it to your face. So that is one difference that I can definitely say, but they both dry down matte, and they both dry down matte very quickly, and they have an orange undertone. The both of them do have like an orange 
finish but it blends out into the skin very nicely and they both do not feel heavy at all on my face I forgot my window was open let, let me close it real quick because you guys are gonna hear so much noise in the background okay so I think that as I'm looking at myself in the mirror as well as in the camera it looks really good together so they both definitely do good give great coverage and they're both very lightweight so I don't feel like I have on a lot of makeup which I really really like so I'm just gonna go ahead and move forward to concealing my face okay let me just wipe this off of my hand so I'm just gonna go ahead and start concealing my face and it's only right for me to just basically use the Maybelline concealers so the two that I'd be using today is the number 30 cafe cafe and the number 35 which is deep ponce so number 30 is more of like a conceal shade and then number 35 is more of like a highlight shade. So I'm just going to go ahead and conceal first. Alright, so now that I've applied my concealer, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight. But I just wanted to mention that so far I still don't feel like I have a lot of makeup on my face, which I really, really like. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight um, my face. So I'm just going to put the highlighter pretty much right here on both sides. I'm not going to drag it down. And then I'm just going to wipe it a little bit and then put some here down my nose and then on my forehead just a little bit and then I'm just gonna go ahead and take my sponge and I'm just gonna wet it a little bit and I'm just gonna blend that out So I like to start basically on my chin and my forehead and down the bridge of my nose first just to let the one I mean the concealer or the highlight under my um, eyes to basically just dry down a little bit. Just blend this out. And then what I'll do is I'll take the bottom of my sponge and I will basically use that to contour my face. And the contour that I'm going to be using is my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in the shade C8 Cocoa. And this is what it looks like. I love this color. This is what the powder looks like. It's beautiful. It goes really well with my skin tone. So I'm just going to basically pat the bottom of it and then just do that go around my hairline not too much but just to create contrast and dimension to my face and then I'm just going to use the same bottom of it to just to blend it out so it's not as harsh as it looks right now. is actually going to die so I'm just going to speed through everything else.
Alrighty, so now that I finished my makeup, honestly, I think everything came out beautifully. Um, I will make sure to leave close-ups um, as far as like the makeup look, just so you guys can see how everything really blended out and came together. So I'm really, really loving the way that my makeup looks today. And honestly, I can't really see a huge difference between the two besides the consistency of them in the beginning so like i mentioned the matte and poreless foundation which is this one and this is this side of my face this one is a little bit more watery so it's basically medium to full coverage so you can build it up to full coverage and then this one is just straight up full coverage out the out the gate <laughs> so they do wear beautifully they both feel very lightweight they work well with other products my makeup came out really good. I feel like my face is definitely matte. It's definitely going to be controlled throughout the day as far as like my oils. So I really, really am happy about that. And I think that they're both really great finds. So if you can't find your shade in this new one, you can definitely find your shade in the matte and poreless. I think that this one, because it's more match and full coverage straight out the gate, if you don't really like full coverage foundations, I would say opt for this one. And if you have dry skin, I would also say opt for this one as well. And I think that they have a um, dry skin version for this one, but this is just straight up matte. Um, but as far as like the color, they came out beautifully together. These were the perfect shades to try together. And yeah, so thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you so much again. Be safe, stay blessed, and remember to always, always treat yourself. Peace out.